Museo Aerosolar is um, a project that we developed here in Mississauga, but it's a proposition or a proposal by artist Tomas Saracino that invites local communities to make a floating museum, an airborne sculpture out of used plastic bags. It performs a number of functions. One is to have us thinking about plastic pollution, something that we absolutely have to address worldwide. The other asks us to think about our reliance on fossil fuels. So here's just a, a selection of the bags we have. This is really only the tip of the iceberg. There are many, many more. So over here, there's some folks that are uh, taping everything together making basic panels. All it is is packing tape and bags. Once that's done, they get patched onto the larger structure. So we have the whole sculpture laid out on the ground, and they're adding these panels as we go along. What's that? It's long. Yeah, it's like 20 feet long. Well, we're trying for 80. We have work to do still. Ironically, a project on wind, air, land, sea. The heat of the sun, the strength of the breeze uh, postponed some of the construction. Um, so we forged ahead and assembled a really large uh, Museo Aerosolar, which has been launching daily throughout the work of wind, air, land, sea. We give it a little injection of air, and then the sun starts to heat up the um, large plastic sculpture, and it actually rises with the heat of the sun during the course of the day. I think it's a really um, important project because it's one that has been picked up by communities in 21 localities across the globe. So Mississauga is becoming part of a global conversation on climate change, on fossil fuels, and on um, plastic pollution. So um, that's, I think, the, the thing that makes that contribution to the exhibition really exciting is it's a global issue happening in a local context.